The first question I pose is why should Xbox and ABK merge to begin with? All right. Microsoft is in third place in terms of the gaming landscape. You got PlayStation, Nintendo. Nintendo, I believe, is the the, the big dog. Okay. Followed by, by, by Sony. Xbox is in last place. All right. They've proven that in court with the FTC trial. They needed something to bring them to the table to be players in the game, all right? And I'll tell you right now, it's Xbox's fault why they're in third place. It's their fault because they don't that many high quality first party IPs. It is what it is. You got Halo, you got Gears of War, you got Forza. What else do they have? Let's call it for what it is. What else do they have? I love Xbox. I love the controller. It's my preferred controller. I love the way the system plays. I've been a fan of Xbox since the original, the original console, since the OG. I had the Duke controller. I had it all. Halo was the reason I bought an Xbox and I still love Halo to this day. But in terms of first party IPs, Xbox doesn't compare to PlayStation, okay? They don't compare to Nintendo. Nintendo, you got Zelda, you got Mario. You got God of War on PlayStation. You got The Last of Us on PlayStation. You got Horizon on PlayStation. You got Final Fantasy, in so many words, on PlayStation, okay? Xbox doesn't have those big first-party titles, and that's their own fault. They had Scalebound coming out years ago. People talk about Scalebound being resurrected. That game looked like trash from the beginning. I wasn't impressed by it. I didn't even know a guy with a dragon. Are you kidding me? And then they scrapped it. All right, then you had Redfall come out. Redfall was just a complete disaster. I still haven't played Redfall. I have no interest in playing Redfall. And then Halo comes out. Gameplay is phenomenal, but there's no content to follow up with it. It's blunder after blunder. And that's why people take Xbox as a joke. It's not a joke. It's not a joke. It never was. But that's what people perceive it to be with these blunders that happen over and over again. The ABK deal is good for Xbox because... I'm going to call for what it is. It brings Call of Duty back on Xbox. Call of Duty made its name on Xbox, as far as I'm concerned. Call of Duty 2, Call of Duty, uh, Call of Duty 3. And then when Modern Warfare came out, you know, really Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare changed the whole game. Okay. And and I bought, back in the day, I bought Call of Duty on Xbox. It was the, the system to buy Call of Duty on. All right, but that being said, the lack of first-party IPs hurts xbox okay now for abk that studio if you will or or you know variety of studios if you will suffered sexual allegations hostile work environments it wasn't a nice place to be okay and these people these developers that make these games that we all love deserve to work in a pleasant environment let me tell you something game development is stressful all right you have cut co consumers who and, and customers who are buying these products at a hefty price point, you expect a polished product at the end of the day. If you're not getting that, then I'm not gonna buy the game. But these people, just like anybody, need to work in a nice work environment. And at, at this studio, the, this you know array of studios, this wasn't happening, all right? People were not happy there. And that's a bad thing for, for the industry it's a bad thing for the economy it's not good to have a major studio like activision with so many scandals going on so hopefully with activision blizzard now coming under the xbox game studios umbrella the mantra at xbox is creative freedom these studios are allowed to pretty much produce whatever their creative vision entails all right the, the heads at Xbox are very hands off with that. Now, that might hurt some studios. That might help some studios. Time will tell. But I really feel like being at Xbox is going to allow these developers to kind of spread their wings a little bit and utilize their talents, which is good for us in the long run. Phil Spencer tweeted out, this is a, a few days ago. I've been out of the loop for a minute. Microsoft and the EE are expanding our partnership with a 10-year commitment in cloud gaming to bring PC games built by Activision Blizzard 
following the acquisition and Xbox to EE cons uh, customers. We are committed to bring more games to more people, however they choose to play. That's Xbox's mantra. That's their business model to bring more games to more people on whatever platform they choose. You don't need to have an Xbox console anymore to enjoy Xbox, you know, first party IPs and games and Game Pass. You could play on PC. You could play on your phone with the backbone, which I have, which is awesome. You could play on the Rogue Ally, which I have, and it's awesome. You could play on the Series X. You could play on the Series S. You could play virtually anything you want, wherever you want, as long as you're connected to the internet, of course. But it gives players that freedom. And that's their business model. Whereas Sony and even Nintendo, you know, games are on PlayStation. You buy a PlayStation, you buy a Switch. The game comes out, it's on that console. In, you know, in a nutshell. Xbox gives us that choice, which I feel like is really important. So that's good for ABK and that's good for Xbox.